And welcome back to uh, this mission here. I, I honestly didn't check the name of the mission, I don't think, when I started this. It, it probably says, doesn't it, on the mission thing. The Splitter. The Splitter. Don't know why that name applies to this mission, to be honest, but... Let's, let's have a look at where Khan Track 1 is. Khan Track 1 is there. The Khan South Track is there. Then the Summer Track is there. And the Lugo Track is there. And then Frost Eye Track is there. <laughs> and then Victor Will Signing 5 is there. And East Victor Will Signing 4 is just is just a little bit ahead of that. Okay. So we, we don't have quite a way to go, to be fair. But whatever. Has to be done, doesn't it? Because, you know, we... Uh, we are driving dem trains, dem trains. And when you are driving dem trains, then you need 100% discipline. So... <laughs> oh, I just realized that we can, we can accelerate a bit, can't we? Because, we? because we are back in the 45 area. We don't have to... We don't have to stick it. But, uh, sorry, yeah, forty anymore. We're, we're actually going a we're, we're we're actually going a lot lower than forty there. For some reason, I'm, my attention must have been elsewhere. I was like, oh, what's that? What's that? There's some buildings. Oh, I can't remember what speed we're going at. I believe we're coming to a tunnel there. Oh no, we're not. Sorry, I, I, I was my my eyes are tricking me. It's just a lot of rocks that that kind of form a a tunnel-like shape when you when you look at it from a distance. Kind of disappointed because it's always exciting when you go through a tunnel. If you know what I mean. Really, uh, really makes you get you know pr pr properly pumped up for for what's about to come. But no, it's just, see, look, but those rocks there, just the side of the track, that's what I thought was a tunnel. It, it looked like a tunnel, the shape of it, honestly, but no, it's just a load of rocks. Seriously disappointing, this game, sometimes. You think, you think you're going to go through a tunnel, but it was just rocks. Just rocks. Not, nothing else but rocks. I mean, holy shit, what a disappointment. But at least we still got the underground power lines there, which is amazing, you know. Always, always nice to have the underground power lines and, and all and all this and, and all the, and all this te and all this, yeah. What the fuck am I trying to say? All this technological prowess with the uh, ability to send uh, energy underground. Foreman Dan Hernandez once again. He's been called upon. He seems to be called upon every every day and every night. In this game, I, I I do wonder if he, if he ever gets tired of his job, you know, does he ever think to himself, I, I would like a break from all these trains because, you know, when I signed up to be a train foreman, I I, I didn't expect to be to be called upon literally every three minutes, honestly. Every time you listen to the radio, all it is is Foreman Dan Hernandez, blah 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 blah, Dan Hernandez, Mr. Hernandez, what are you doing? Foreman Dan Hernandez, god damn it, leave him alone. He's just trying to do his job, sir. We, we are at 45 miles an hour at least, so we are on opt opt optimal speed. Just have to make sure that we, that, that we don't actually hit 46, otherwise we'll be breaking the law. Which would be rather inconvenient. As nobody likes to break the law. Especially not under the watch of oblivion guards because they because they tend to throw you in jail. Anyway, that's that's more more references there. <laughs> oh, I just heard Dan Hernandez again, but I I I don't think he was in the same tone as last time, so Obviously, just mixing things up there on the radio. Are we always nice to see, you know, people things, people mixing things up. 
because you know if you, if you do the same thing over and over again then uh, things can get a bit stale so yeah always uh, always nice to know that uh, people are um, that people are, uh, are changing things here and there you can see our train there on the map which is awesome Oh lord. N nice bit of desert there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Always good to see a bit of barren desert area. Really uh, reassures you that you're that, that that the area you're that you're actually living in is actually quite nice. Ah, uh, damn it, we're coming into a 35 zone, so I'll have to slow down a bit here. I'll just reduce the accelerator a tad, so we do begin to slow our speed. And we're, we're turning a corner here, so, so I hope we don't fly off the track and roll, roll down that little hill there. Because, just think of all, uh, just think, if we derailed here, Think, think of all the innocent freights which, which would be damaged. It would be, it would be devastating, honestly. Absolutely devastating. <laughs> Just to see all, 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 all the poor innocent freight die off. Just release the brakes here. Have a look around us again. Oh, rocks! I see. That looks like the entrance to a mine, if you know what I mean. Like th this general area, just it looks like an ideal mining area. You know what I mean? Like because I can see like several rocks and all that. Uh, I don't know if they're maybe ore deposits or something like that. <laughs> or, or may maybe I'm just thinking a bit too much into this, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, besides, it is a train simulator game where it's uh, it's not mining simulator 2013. It's train simulator 2013. <laughs> uh, so the Callan track is just less than two miles away, and it'll take about four minutes to get there, which is uh, fine, honestly. Absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. <sighs> aye, 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 fuck me hell. Oh, honestly, um, when I used to do Football Manager on my channel, I actually always used to start randomly yawning when, uh, when, I, when I was recording videos. I honestly don't know why, I just start yawning every time I record any video. Just seems strange, but... Whatever, I can't really change anything, so <laughs> I'll just uh, let my body yawn as much as it wants, I suppose. Oh, 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 God, why? Why am I yawning so much? I, I, I'm not actually physically tired, but I keep yawning. Just, it's confusing.
Oh, a 45 zone's coming up. Fantastic. We, we can go a little bit faster. Because, because everyone knows that the faster we go, the, fa the faster we will get to our objectives. And the faster the scenario will be completed, which is, I imagine, what everyone wants. <laughs> We all, we all want this uh, scenario and all, and all the scenarios to be finished, don't we? But they have to be done. Well, they don't have to be done, but I choose to do them <laughs> because you know I was asked to play this game, and I'm I, I'm quite a, I'm quite you know an avid simulator player, so I couldn't really turn the opportunity down. You know, it, it was always nice to play something a little bit more more relaxing after going through Dead Space Three as well. That was a bit of a. <laughs> that was a bit of a. Uh, a scary experience, to say the least, but. We're past that now, Dead Space 3 is done, so. I, I'm, 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 we're doing Train Simulator now, so yeah. What's not to like? I'll just accelerate slightly now because we are only going at 28 miles an hour and uh, we can be going at 35 and any minute now we'll be able to go 45 so let's yeah really speed up here just coming up to the cash on track one here any minute now it'll probably update the objective six five four three two one Bang, there we go. Now I have to go via the Cajon South track, which is the one in this little spaghetti junction area down here, isn't it? Uh, yep, we are there, the Cajon South track is there. Okay, so I just have to go a little bit further forward. Not, not that far left, I suppose. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a bush. <laughs> I thought I, I thought someone had decided to leave a train in the in the middle of two tracks, but it's actually just a bush. Yep, I'm I'm the kind of person who who will get a, a train confused with a bush. That is just the sort of person that I am. I tell you what, this this freaking Cajon Pass route. It really does love its its uphill areas, doesn't it? I mean, so much uphill. I can't even begin to describe it. Because we've been going uphill for ages. I can only imagine that that uh, this area here, which I always call the spaghetti junction area, is the like general peak of the hill, of the massive hill, and then uh, you'll eventually just you know, start start descending in in, in a way. That's uh, that's my guess anyway. But you know, if you if you're going either way, then you know, there always seems to be a hell of a hell of a lot of uphill places. Because if there's uphill places, then that must eventually mean that there are downhill places as well. So, and again, though, I kind of prefer going uphill because it's a bit easier to balance out the speed. Because if you go if you're going downhill, then the train just flies. If you're going uphill, you know you can you can just you can you can make slight adjustments and and you're fine. But yeah, we'd better start slowing down a bit here actually because uh, the there is the 30 zone coming up now, which is a bit annoying. Again, you know that changes the speed limit if it, if you know the speed limit's lowering. The speed limit's lowering. It's always annoying, but you can't do much about it. And stop.
Yeah, we're, we're still decelerating for some reason. I think we should probably put the throttle up a tad as we go past another light and change its colour because we are awesome people. Put the accelerator up a little bit more, the throttle, whatever you want to call it. Just, just need to make sure that we keep around the 30 mark because we don't want to go over the speed limit as we go into this area. Now we can't stop the fucking thing from accelerating. Jesus Christ, slow down, please. Really, really don't know what, what, what the hell this train is trying to do to me, but, you know. Trains just drive people insane, you know, in, in, in their own cool little way. Just have to go around this bend and then I believe the car on south track is under that bridge. That's the point where it starts, I think, anyway. Could be wrong, but I, I believe, if I remember correctly, that then it is under a bridge where, where, where the actual track uh, starts. Uh, I, I'm sure we'll find out in a minute, anyway. Oh, a uh, power line point. A power pylon. That's right, a power pylon. I, I, I'm not actually sure what those things are called, but, you know, I, I, I see plenty of them around in, in England and stuff. That, that, those are gen, a gen, gen, uh, generally what, what we use to uh, move power around. Apologies for that one guys, we can never seem to go a train simulator video without some sort of interruption somewhere. <laughs> it's a bit annoying I know. But we're just going over a bridge now, we have gone over the Cajon South track at least because yeah we did go under that bridge just then. And the summit track is 4.15, miles ahead, and it is there. And yeah, it's there. And we we'll go by the Lugo track, which again is there, and the Frost High track, which is there, and then just Victor Hill Siding Five, which is there. So not too much left to do, but yeah. I really wish though that the speed limit would go up because we we really are having to fucking go slowly to be honest. Sorry, I just uh, zoned out a bit there. I was thinking about some things. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's have a look. Uh, I, I can't help but notice, by the way, that that, that, we, that we are on the area of the track which actually has turns, you know, because I, I pointed out in the past that, that the Cowan Pass is very straight. It's a very straight area, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, um, in, in this scenario, we have had a lot of twists and turns and Twirls and shit like that. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's nice to see a bit of a bit of variety. You know what I mean? Always nice to see a bit of variety. It's oh god, we're at, we 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 are at, we are at 30 miles an hour now. So just have to try and keep the speed constant. Try and make sure that it doesn't accelerate over past uh, 31. Otherwise, we'll be speeding, and that'll just be annoying. 
well, it's, it's not really annoying, but it, it, it'll count against us on our score, which is, it's, it's, it's never nice, you know. We want the highest, you know, comfort levels and, and, and freight levels, whatever, and we also want, you know, the, the and we also want perfect driving. Or excellent driving, or whatever it's called. You know, we we don't want any shit like wheel slippage, or or exceeding the passenger comfort levels or freight comfort levels. How freight can exactly be comfortable, I'm not sure because it's not actually alive. But whatever. Still, we do we do try to keep the freight satisfied. Nice little, very tall mountains around here, I see. I think they can be called mountains, I, I, I believe they can come out of that classification. It'd be interesting if we just like, actually, I don't know how far we can actually go before it stops us, let's, let's see. Let's, let's go towards the mountains. I'll just uh, turn the camera up a bit there, there we go. Ah. It will probably stop us eventually, but you know. Oh, we've stopped. Damn it, that's a shame. C can we see our can we see our train from here? No, we actually can't. <laughs> we we went a long way there. We went, we went so far that we couldn't even see our freaking train. Oh well. Only another six minutes, five or six minutes before we get to the summit track, which is great. And I would say that that we, I'll probably split the episode when we do get to the summit track. I know around now will probably be the point where I'd usually split the episode because of the length, but you know, if I, if I do too many splits, then there'll be a hell of a lot of episodes. So I don't want to be, I, don't, I don't want there to be too many, but uh, you know, the heck. Does everyone see that rock on the side of the screen, which appears if you look over here? Look over there, it disappears. What the fuck's going on? Look, look, look. It, it's there. Just look there. It disappears, it appears, it disappears, it appears, it disappears. What the fuck is going on with that rock? Who is stealing that rock from me? It, it, it seems to have permanently appeared now, though. Oh, wait a minute, is this? Yeah, 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 it's it's permanently appeared. God, God knows why it was disappearing. Really, really weird uh, visual uh, visual uh, glitch, I suppose you can say there. But we do have it on low graphical settings, so I can't complain too much. I mean, if it was on high, I'd probably be really angry. But <laughs> but if the game was on high. Then, uh, yeah, my computer will probably blow up or something, so. We're coming into a 40 zone now anyway, so we can uh, increase our speed slightly. Ah, I just realised, summit track. Summit means that they're actually at the top of the hill. So we, so we'll be, we won't be going uphill anymore, thank God. Oof. I thought they would never come when we would actually stop going uphill on the Cajon Pass. Jesus Christ, this this is actually a relief. It is honestly a relief that we're no longer going uphill and we're gonna be in a 40 zone in a minute now, then we'll be in a 50 zone. Actually, flat ground, holy shit. Right, aye, aye, aye. So where exactly is the the actual high points? So the highest point of the Calhoun Pass is there, it's just around this area here. I could say that maybe maybe there is the summit. So interesting. Not too far left to go, considering the distance which we have come now. We're probably like halfway, three quarters of the way there. 
Oh god, I'm going too fast. Jesus Christ, I apologize. Sorry, slow down, slow down. My bad, my bad, my bad. We'll, uh... We'll be, we'll be in the 40 zone any minute now anyway, so there's, there's not much point in slowing down. Now, there we are. 40! Fantastic. fan dabby dozy I can now see Summit Track 2 on the track monitor. Get in there. As we go through this little uh, this uh, corridor, surrounded by rocks, I suppose you could say. Because you've got a corridor, didn't you? The, uh, the corridor of uncertainty is what I call this place. Because you really, you really can't be certain of uh, of what you're coming up against. You know what I mean? Because your vision is blinded by rocks, which is always, which is always crap. But yeah, summit, summit track two, right here. Let's just uh, stop the acceleration slightly. Oh god, no, it, it, it won't stop. No, okay, no, we're good, we're good. Actually, no, we're not, no, we're not, no, we're not. Just, just decelerate slightly. And we're at 50. There we are. Lugo track two, Jesus Christ. Next Lugo. Next Lex Lugo. Anyway, yeah, I'll just uh, split the episode here guys. Hope to see you next episode.